I was born and raised in Cincinnati and I did not formally study art. I, I think my mom just put a paintbrush in my hand when I was little and if it probably let her have time to make dinner, I don't know. <laughs> but um, so I, yeah, I just, it's just my creative outlet for, or my stress reliever is to just paint and create. And probably before Scar, most of my painting evolved from literally just painting thank you notes for people or birthday cards. So, and then I just felt like I, I want this to last a longer, become wearable art. And so that's where I transferred it to textile. I was really excited to explore the scarf business because I love painting and watercolor. It's my primary medium and I love the idea of fashion. So I've been painting and sewing for as long as I can remember. And I liked the idea of translating my watercolor to textile. And with that, I am definitely diving into this venture. And I've done a few designs since 2008, but I would say as of late, there are over 50%, I would say probably 20 of the designs are all brand new. And what I love about a scarf is that you could have just finished a yoga class, need to go to the grocery, throw it on and feel chic and not even have to worry about one other thing. So it can absolutely be um, that accessory in your closet that is the chameleon, but also is very classy and um, can kind of be the weapon in your wardrobe. We've got so much arts here in our backyard, since I need so many gems, and I'm excited because I feel like people are taking a new sense of pride in Cincinnati, and being from here and showcasing the breadth of talents of the people that live here, that love it here, that play here, mm -hmm. is so exciting to me, is that we can put ourselves on the map for so many different things that we would have never been able to get credit for before.